given polygon, in this case a regular five-sided shape, which is a pentagon, there's what's called the interior angle and the exterior angle. Now the interior angle would be, for example, this coordinate here, or this coordinate here, and so on and so forth around the shape. There are five such coordinates, uh, five such angles. Because it's a regular pentagon, all these five angles are the same. But just how big is one of those angles? There's a way to find this as follows. Now this pentagon, if we choose just one of the coordinates, at the top can be broken up into one, two, three triangles. There are five sides, five angles, there are therefore three internal triangles. So there are three lots of 180, which is 540 degrees in that shape in the total. However, because there are five angles in there, each interior angle must contribute equally to that 540. So each individual angle must be 108 degrees. 108, 108, 108, 108, 108. That is one way to find an interior angle. An exterior angle would be if you were to extend these lines a bit like a Catherine wheel or wheel spokes, then this is called the exterior angle. In this case it is quite simple therefore to see how to find what y is because x and y are on a straight line. Because x was 108 degrees, y must be a straight line 180. Take away 108 which equals 72 degrees. So that is a way of finding an exterior angle of a pentagon. However, here's a hexagon and we're going to reverse our logic slightly and find the exterior angle first. This is an exterior angle. And a regular hexagon There are six such exterior angles, but these all form a, effectively a circle. They wrap around the shape to create a full rotation. There are six, lots of those exterior angles. They must equal 360 in total. So each exterior angle must be 60 degrees. So the exterior angles of a, any shape actually always add up to 360 degrees because there are six of them and they contribute equally because it is regular we can therefore find just how large that exterior angle is quite simply. But therefore, that gives us another way of finding the interior angle, because, as we know from before, that would be x. And x plus y is 180 degrees. y is 60 degrees. So x must be 120 degrees in a hexagon. 
So the interior angle of a hexagon is 120 degrees.